We'll guide you through how to fix Minecraft stuttering. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Minecraft stuttering can get really annoying and really affect your gaming experience. So what we can do is go and fix it. I found a really great way we can go and do this. And doing this will also go and just increase your FPS as well. So to go and do this, we'll need to go and close Minecraft. Here we are on my desktop. So what we do need to do is go and download and install something, but don't worry, I'm guiding you through it step by step. So what we need to do is go and open up a web browser. I'm using Chrome, but you could use something else. And what you need to do is go and search for Iris shaders, just like so. So as well as this being an optimization tool for Minecraft, stopping stuttering and increasing FPS, we can actually add shaders with it as well, which is pretty cool. Come to the official site, which is irisshaders.dev. And what we can then do is go and click on the download now button. Then you can click on download universal jar. This is how we can install it. Just before we start the install process, if you're in need of a Minecraft server, then go and check out Apex hosting. Then my go to Minecraft server host. I'll put a link down below in the description and in the pinned comments, so you can check them out. They've got so many great features. For example, one click install mod packs, 24 seven servers and support. So you can get help anytime you need it from a 24 seven live chat for your always online server, ultra latency and many more features as well as you can see. And at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice. Now that we've gone and downloaded Iris shaders, we can come out of our web browser. What we then need to do is go and open up our file explorer. We can come to our downloads and find the installer. Then what you need to do is go and double click on it to go and run it. What you can do is choose the game version. I just like to go and get the most recent one so we can get that. You can choose if you want to go and add fabric. In this case, I'll just do Iris and then click install like so. I don't change the installation directory and it's complete. And it's that simple. Now what you need to do is go and open up the Minecraft launcher like so. After it loads, go to the left of the play button. There you'll see the option for Iris and Sodium and you can then go and select it like so, and you can go and click on play. Now it's gonna go and launch, it shouldn't take too long. It may need to go and do a quick download. Now here we are back in Minecraft, and now hopefully you've noticed the stuttering has gone and stopped, and also you're getting higher FPS as well. If you go and pause the game, you can go and click on options and click on video settings, and you're gonna go and see these look different as well, so you can go and fully customize these. What's super useful is when you go and hover over a setting, you can go and see the performance impact. And so you can then go and adjust that uh, accordingly because some things aren't gonna go and really sort of change the frame rate and performance. So therefore you don't really need to bother changing them, but some will, and they go and tell you that. As I said, if you want to go and use shaders, you really easily can as well. You can click up here and you can then add them to the shader pack folder. We've got a full guide on that. And that's it. Hopefully now you've got a way better experience and the stuttering has gone and stopped. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please consider subscribing and liking the video. I look forward to catch you in the next one. And if you're in need of a Minecraft server, make sure you go and check out Apex. I hope you have an awesome day.